Holy shit! Hey what's up guys, Metaphor here, and today we are doing a video on the new Psychov Pistol. Uh, this gameplay is actually like the second game that I had with the gun itself, um, so it's actually not leveled up pretty much at all, but we had an absolute heater gameplay, and I did get several kills with the gun. Uh, the attachments in the video are just the flash guard and the lightweight trigger, and I literally only had two attachments on it. Uh, however, I will be showing you guys the best build you can do on the gun right now, and in a couple days I'm going to drop a few gameplays. Um, with this setup i absolutely popped off today with this gun it was actually so much fun well yesterday if you're watching the video uh when it goes up uh so much fun it dropped so many high 20 kill games couple 30 kill games and just went completely crazy now you guys might be wondering metaphor why are you building it this way what is this this is not the build that i'm running in today's video but this is just for you guys who are going to be running the pistol today tomorrow whatever uh this is the setup you should run the reason why you guys want to run this setup without the monolithic is because Without the monolithic, or with the monolithic, you'd have to take off the stipple grip tape. And the thing with this is that you actually lose a lot of your sprint to fire speed. And with the Kimbo pistols, you actually really, really want sprint to fire. So even though you don't have uh, aim, aim down sight speed, if you are sprinting in a building, the amount of time it takes your guy to pull his guns up and shoot gets shortened by having stippled grip tape on. And that makes all the difference, especially if you're pushing into buildings. Um, and basically what this allows you to do is it allows you to sprint and then pull the gun up faster. So if you did have the monolithic on and you were to sprint in a building, it takes longer for your guy to pull up his guns and it can actually just get you killed because this, this gun is pretty heavy. Um, especially if you have like, you know, the AD round and everything on it, it's actually a pretty heavy gun. So you definitely want to give the gun its best chance and give it the five milliwatt with the uh, ADS grip tape, aka stipple grip tape. Anyways, I do hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, let me know, do you guys want me to upload the fully kitted out gameplay ASAP or should I wait a couple days? I know a lot of people are going to be outing up your sub boxes with those videos, so I might just chill a little bit, but I do want to show you guys this heater gameplay and if you guys want to know how to level up guns in Warzone uh, and how I do it, this is how I do it. Uh, basically what I do is I, I try to get into situations where I can just pull out the gun and get kills with it, even though it's obviously a lot weaker because it's a lower level, but basically you just throw out a double XP token and whenever you can get a uh, kill with the gun, you just swap out and go for it. Let me know what you think below about the new gun. Yes, I think it's OP. Yes, I think it's overrated. I honestly think it's a little overrated to be completely honest with you. But yeah, hopefully you guys do enjoy the video. Uh, I think the gun is amazing. Very fun to use and I will see you all tomorrow. Peace. Just an easy dub, man. How weird is that? It's chill. I'm literally like. Oh, you are so dog shit. It happens like that, bro. It happens that fast sometimes. Life comes at you fast, buddy. There's nothing you can do to stop me from cheating in the Call of Duty Warzone. <laughs> Bro, what is this guy doing? <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. Dude, I need to be ID banned. Uh. 
These guys are bots? Yes, I'm VPN cheating to get into bot lobbies. Oh my god. Why don't they shoot you back? It's because they f***ing can't, man. They don't got the time! <laughs> Code metaphor. Yo, where did I get sniped from? Does anyone know? Oh my god! Where am I getting shot from? Oh my god, he's on that thing. He's just on the on the thing right there, right? There's literally no way you're coming up this right now, bro. You're making this worse? <laughs> I don't use a VPN. I have nothing to worry about. You think I really care if a bunch of dog shit kids think I'm VPNing? Yep, small dick. Oh my god! He got out of his car and it ran him over and he killed himself with it. When I play the game, I land Superstore. And by me landing Superstore, I kill any of the good players in the lobby and they back out instantly. When you guys play, you land Farmland. Therefore, not only are you dog shit because you land Farmland, but you don't kill any of the good players at the start of the game. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. So what I'm trying to say is... If I eliminate all the good players at the start of the game... Enemy soldier incoming. Then there's no more good players. Do you understand, kids? When you land TV station and you're fighting zombies all game, you're not killing anyone. Now, don't get me wrong. Some lobbies are more body than others. But at the end of the day, you're just not hitting shots like that. Positioning on me, but ideally I can finesse him. Stun him, he's gotta get back in his car.
I've gotten too good at the Bertha shots, man. Gas is moving in. You safe zone located. You AP entering the AO. This shit's comedy, bruh. He's not gonna jump off the left side because I just shot on him three times, so he's gonna jump off this side when he does jump. He might have jumped before armoring. But he will jump off this side because I just cracked him three times on the left side. It's basic mind control, ladies and gentlemen. It's basic mind control. Get some recon up. 